the concept of non-argon is a relatively new uh, is instrument uh, developed by uh, Argentina-based uh, scholar Claudio Gueri. So uh, I tried to translate the, the general idea of the uh, professor into um, marketing and branding uh, terminology, field of uh, branding especially. So uh, my goal was to make you familiar with uh, this uh, tool. So uh, as uh, Professor Gary and uh, his colleagues uh, defined uh, the, this tool, uh, Nonagon. Uh, so it, uh, the Nonagon is based on uh, uh, philosophy of uh, and semiotics of uh, Charles Sanders uh, Peirce. Uh, personally, uh, this school is not uh, actually uh, uh, per semiotic is not uh, my superpower. So probably uh, the the um, this uh, semiotic is superpower of uh, Charles Sanders per himself, and uh, that's why I'm not uh, uh, trying to go uh, so deep. But the the idea is that uh, the nonagon is based on uh, Charles Sanders Peirce. Uh, writings and the idea of uh, uh, firstness, secondness, and uh, thirdness. So uh, uh, Professor Gary and his colleagues defined uh, this instrument as a machine of thinking, uh, log logic machine, a tool of mapping of complex reality. But as of course, the first disadvantage is uh, in terms of marketing is, it's, is that uh, uh, it's not off offers any particular uh, solution. So we should perceive this uh, this tool as a, as a map and uh, which tries to explain reality in uh, philosoph philosophy of uh, Charles Sanders Peirce. Uh, so uh, some of the uh, people, researchers around uh, Claudio Gary uh, point this instrument as uh, Peirce Square and it put more dynamics in the uh, science system uh, he uh, developed earlier. So first of all, I want to make a, a short uh, reference uh, before the, before the present presentation of the, uh, the instrument is itself. So probably you are familiar with uh, Simon Sinek. Uh, it's interesting uh, guy with, uh, with uh, background in uh, marketing nowadays is He's a very popular as a speaker with very big uh, uh, topics like uh, leadership, uh, innovation, uh, inspiration, and so on and so forth. He is very mm, applicable nowadays because we all talk about uh, millennials, uh, new leadership, new kind of uh, organizational culture, and so on and so forth. So uh, I think it was uh, his first book. Uh, mm, uh, titled uh, Start With Why. Uh, he speaks there for this golden uh, circle and uh, he tries to convince us, of course. Uh, here we are intelligent people and we are convinced in why the meaning is uh, the, the very heart of everything and especially uh, in branding is, is very, very important thing. So. Three questions, uh, what, how, and, and why. What is the, it's very easy to, to um, answer this question because we can see, for example, Apple products. So we can say that pro, uh, uh, Apple is a company dedicated to devices that make us uh, inform, make us um, more creative. Uh, uh, they allow us to be more uh, expressive and connected. Uh, how? It's a really good question and uh, sometimes it, it takes some research to answer this question, how actually things uh, were made. Uh, and of course the, the, the basic question, the most important question is why these uh, products are actually produced. Uh, uh, some of the products are very, very, products are very, very successful, uh, but uh, some actually don't. Uh, of course, uh, Sinek makes this uh, reference to uh, Apple products, Nike products, uh, 
uh, because uh, his thesis is that these brands uh, uh, have meaning, very powerful meaning that uh, uh, resonates in the customers and uh, the consumers uh, actually, um, by buying this uh, product, they support the idea, support the, the, the meaning. So uh, that's why he says that people actually buy because of why and it, not because of uh, what as a material uh, object. So uh, it's important because uh, the next uh, things are related with uh, this idea. Uh, so this is the, the nonagon. Uh, mm, six years ago, uh, Professor Gary introduced uh, the nonagon in, uh, in Bulgaria. And uh, nowadays we have uh, two editions of uh, his book, uh, but uh, it's only in Spanish. Of course, with the uh, average knowledge in Spanish, you can see also some uh, videos online. Uh, it's uh, mm, Professor Gary is an uh, academic scholar, so it's a little bit difficult to translate his abstract idea and into marketing uh, terms, into marketing field. Uh, so uh, he and uh, his colleagues, they developed this uh, instrument uh, using uh, the, the three basic notions of uh, form, existence, and value. So they interconnect the, 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 the same uh, terms here to produce this map of uh, logic, uh, map of uh, uh, a process of uh, uh, developing uh, meaning in the, in the world. Uh, Claudio Gary used uh, some examples from design and architecture, but it's different in the marketing world. So my idea was to translate it in a, a little bit uh, uh, more familiar uh, uh, topic in marketing. So, uh, briefly, say, briefly said, it's a multidimensional hyperspace that allows us to see the infinitive play of interpretation and reinterpretation. For me, it's very important and very useful uh, contribution uh, of uh, Charles Sanders Peirce, of course, is the uh, interpretation and interpretant, and uh, which allows the, the, the whole symbiosis to go on and on and to be actually endless process, which is uh, something that uh, absent in the uh, European uh, version of uh, sign uh, uh, theory. Uh, Why well, it's important for us as a marketers and brand consultants and so on and so forth is because uh, we should not uh, um, remove our consumers out of the formula. It's always important to know what they think and what they do because nowadays we are in the economy of uh, attention and in the same time we need to inspire uh, consumers to be producers, but not in terms of uh, material production and uh, manufacturing, but to produce and to translate meaning to other people. So a lot of uh, contemporary consumers, especially millennials, they are ready to be uh, producers of meaning and reproducers of meaning uh, very actively. And uh, a lot of uh, powerful brands, uh, nowadays uh, take advantage of uh, social media and uh, internet in general to invite them to produce meaning and to actually brands are consumers. Uh, uh, brands are not uh, products, but uh, the products are just uh, uh, platforms. Uh, so it's my interpretation now. Uh, first of all, the meaning that this question why uh, brands are uh, were born and so on and so forth. Uh, laid here uh, in the Primeridad or uh, First Nest, the pure idea which every uh, founder of a powerful brand actually had before the starting the business is why I'm different, why I should produce these products. Uh, what I have to uh, to say to to, to, the, to the market. Uh, so we will see some examples. Uh, existential or uh, secondness here is the material form of this idea. Now we have real material sign of this idea. Products, no matter of their number, actually are 
signs that represent them, and so uh, they are not the, the real brand. And the uh, thirdness actually is the value, which usually, usually is uh, um, what consumers see. But uh, we should be careful because, uh, as semioticians, we are um, we are able to uh, help uh, marketers and brand management and companies to uh, make this value valuable again. So the the, the general idea, the uh, firstness, is something very stable. But in the same time, uh, in terms of um, space and time, we should develop and re narrate this uh, uh, this meaning again and again to uh, modify the uh, the meaning uh, according to the um, conditions of uh, markets and uh, so on and so forth the, the situations uh, become different uh, let's say in 10 years for example marketers usually uh, think about culture only when they mm, go abroad they try to uh, go with their brands and products abroad, but uh, they actually um, forget that uh, culture is now he in here and uh, uh, they should uh, consider culture even in the original market. So some, some uh, examples, I have only a couple of minutes here. Uh, one of my favorite, of course, you were quite familiar with the, the, the story of the, uh, the brand. So, uh, Starbucks is very famous, uh, and uh, it created this. So there were there was coffee before Starbucks, but the whole idea, this culture, this brand actually created is the genius thing here. Is the, the main idea. So uh, Howard Schultz actually asked himself, "Why I'm different?" and he answered this question doing everything ever since. So uh, nowadays it's still powerful brand, it's a leading brand, it's, it's a very inspiring brand because he keeps eye on the general idea, the, 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 the firstness of his brand, why he is in the market. And then he created different sub-brands, uh, very Italian sound, uh, coffee products. He manipulated the Italianness in a very global scale. So he created very good environment because it's very important for the brand to be everywhere to, to make this uh, retail uh, environment uh, different, very friendly, um, corresponding to the um, uh, urban culture, uh, contemporary culture. Nowadays, uh, um, Starbucks is not only about coffee. In the same time, uh, Starbucks uses very uh, well the hipster culture. It's Nowadays, it's a global culture actually and of course uh, we have the the uh, turnus usually people look uh, at the the logo and they say this is the brand but it's not actually it's the, the the peak of the uh, the iceberg so uh, the the tricky thing here is that um, turnus is actually a, the real connection between the firstness and the secondness so uh, we should be careful as a consultant and uh, consultants and uh, managers that uh, we should uh, mm, uh, take care of products, but in the same time we should uh, mm, consider the context and to uh, mm, modi modify our brand uh, to the contemporary uh, uh, conditions it uh, should be developed. So I have uh, another example with Nike. The, the, the idea is the same. Uh, first of all, in the firstness it, uh, was the idea of Phil Knight that everybody should be an athlete. Uh, for me, it's a really genius uh, sentence that uh, you have a body, you're an athlete. So it's uh, something that uh, lays deep uh, in, in the bottom of this, at this brand. And uh, uh, Phil Knight and his uh, colleagues in uh, Wyden and Kennedy Advertising Agency actually catch this idea and they uh, take care of it very, uh, very strongly, but develop the brand again and again and re this brand uh, in every 10 years, for, for, for example. So uh, yeah, thank you for your attention.
Thank you, Demetar. It's so interesting to have uh, different models to think about brands.